it's Linda here and today I'm back with a tutorial for you on how to make one of these lovely uh, sachet boxes. So I've gone with a Christmas, Christmas themed one. I've used products by Chloe, Chloe and Dean. I'm going to show you those in a moment. Um, so this box I've designed, it's, um, it's got a magnetic snap closure. Okay, so you've got a really nice box here, nice capacity. I can't remember the actual width, so let me just have a look. So it's actually five and a half inches wide and it's one and a half inches deep. It's about six and a half inches tall. Okay, so like I say, I've used products by Chloe today. Um, I've used her beautiful foil Christmas papers, which I shall be showing you as we go along. Um, and I also wanted to show you the cardstock. So this is her lovely pearl cardstock and this colour is called Vista. So it's double sided, it's a beautiful quality. Just open my pack here just to show you. It's really crisp um, and really really nice to work with. Okay so it's um, coloured all the way through. So I love this. It's got, well, it says it's pearly, it's got a beautiful sheen to it. And, and I just thought I really wanted to have a, um, a go putting a nice blue project together so that's that's why I've chosen today's part, um, papers and things anyway I hope you like my sachet box uh, it's not too difficult to put together so I am going to put this aside and I'm going to show you how you can make one so thanks very much for popping along and joining me today so this sachet box is made in two parts so you're going to need two separate pieces of cardstock so the first piece we're working with is nine and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter. So starting on the long side, you're going to score at one and a half. Then you're scoring at eight. And then at eight and a half. Okay, and then turning it to the short side, you're going to score at one and a half and at six and three quarters. Okay, and then just fold your cardstock up to that second score line, horizontal score line. Okay, and you're going to make a notch at three quarters and a notch at seven and a half inches. Okay, so that's your first piece. Now for your second piece, it's quite a skinny piece this one, okay, so this piece measures 11 and 3 quarters by 6 and a quarter. Okay, so you're going to start on the long side by scoring at 1.5 inches, then you're going to score at 8 and you're scoring at 8 and 5 eighths. Okay, and then on the short side, you're going to score at half an inch and at five and three quarters. Okay, so that's that done. So keep hold of your stylus because you're going to need that and you're also going to need a ruler. It's going to be notching at a mo in a moment. So I'm just going to go around and just burnish my score lines. Now for this piece we're going to do some scoring um, and here we're going to be scoring up to your notch from each of these corners here, okay? Not the bottom corner, but this, where, where we've scored here. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my ruler. And then back down to this corner. And then the same with this one. going to do a bit of cutting here before I do my burnishing because in cutting here and here it's going to allow you to fold back on on these score lines. 
Okay, so we're just going to snip up here and snip here. And then whilst we're at it, we may as well just get rid of a few bits we don't need up here. So you're going to cut down to that second school line there and just remove those two sections like that. And the same on the other side. doing our scoring. And this is where I would suggest that you grab your ruler again because it just makes it a little bit easier and then if you just lift here pop your ruler up there like that okay that just allows you to fold that back and then you just want to Burnish that all the way down to the bottom like that. Okay. And the same with this one. So just pop your ruler into place and fold back on yourself like that. There you go, and then you get a really nice um, crease. Okay, so that's all the cutting and the scoring done. So we'll just bring this other piece back now and just do a little bit more cutting before we stick it together. So all you're going to do is cut on a wedge down here and remove this section here. And the same here. to do is just cut across let me just think about this we want to cut across here on that section so you've got these two skinny bits you've got a long skinny bit and a square so we're going to remove those okay and the same with the other side So now we are ready to stick our box together. So all you want to do is place them side by side like that. Just going to get some double sided tape now and run that down here. And the same on this side. And I'm just going to grab my corner rounder now and just round off here and the same here. Just tuck that out of the way. Whoops. Okay, 
me. And also, just take a little wedge from here, like that, and here. Okay. And so now we're ready to rock and roll. So, let's just remove this sticky strip. You want to line this up nice and carefully now. Okay, right along that edge so that all your horizontal lines meet across there. Okay, so that's that one. And just flip the box over, remove this one and bring this across. Okay, and stick down. Oops. like that. Okay so that's looking good. I'm just going to fold up the bottom. So what you want to do here is fold in the sides. We're bringing this one up. Okay so if you like a really nice secure bottom to your box then I suggest you put some tape here and here. I know some people don't bother but I don't like it. If you do put something that's a little bit weighty and it can sag a little um, and I just think this helps to keep the box looking really nice and secure and well put together. So that's that one. Just pop some here. Okay, and then decide where the back of your box is. So that's that one. Okay, so that being the back, what I'm going to do is remove that. Oops. So bring this back section up, make it a nice right angle here and there, and stick that down. Okay, and now I'm just going to pop some double sided tape along this piece here. see now that your box should go together quite nicely like that. Okay so and that's just now a question of getting the magnets on and decorating it. So to decorate it I'm putting a plain section on the top here and this little panel, just looking at my notes, is two and seven eighths of an inch by five inches across and then I just rounded the edges. So now I want to actually introduce my magnets. Okay, so I've got a couple here. So these are neodymium magnets. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this one into the center here at the, at the front. I'm just going to grab a glue dot for that. So I've just pop that into the center here roughly the center, move that a bit. Okay. The other magnet, you're just going to let that grab there and then you're going to put a glue dot on the back of it, like that. Then bring this down and stick it like that. Okay, so they're both now in place. Now we just want to secure them. I like to be extra careful here. So, I'm just taking my nice strong double sided tape and I'm going to run that over the front here. Okay, now then, making a bit of a mess, no, <laughs> never mind. Um, my lovely papers from Chloe. So these papers are the 8x8 Luxury Foiled Paper Pad. Okay, so you can see that there are some really pretty designs in here. Um, I've virtually used up what I'm going to be using on my cards today, so I'm using this one, so I'm down to that. But then you can see these other pretty designs. 
So you've got a lovely mix of colours actually, there's some reds, there's a bit of green in here, there's blues, there's greys. Um, just absolutely stunningly pretty. I love that one. Okay, so I've cut myself out two panels and these panels measure five inches by six and a quarter. Okay, so I'm just going to start, I'm going to take some wet glue for this and I'm just going to stick this one on the front and that is going to cover this magnet. So I'm using Cosmic Shimmer um, Specialist Acrylic Glue um, and I, uh, this is really good, this glue. It's quite new to me but I really like it. It's really nice and strong, dries clear, dries matte. So let's just pop that on here into the center. Like that. Okay, press that down nice and firmly. That will have grabbed that magnet that's under there. And the other piece is just going to go onto the back, okay? So again, I'll just run that measurement past you. These panels are five inches by six and a quarter. So there we go, that's looking nice now. So I'm just going to take this piece, again I'm going to just secure this magnet, just make sure it's really, really securely in place. Okay, and then this piece, I'm running that past, that one past you again, is five inches by two and seven eighths. Okay, so just going to go around, pop plenty of glue on, Just pop this on the front here. Okay, so that's nice and securely in place now. And I just want to cover where that magnet is. I just thought it'd be nice to put on a little decorative detail. So for that, I decided to use. This set from Chloe, okay, so this is her cut and embossed sparkling snowflake and as you can see there's a lovely array here of snowflakes. Well for this one I, se I selected that snowflake there, okay, I think that's really attractive and what I did was I die cut it twice and I've layered it on itself and I'm, I've also die cut a little scallop circle here. So it's from my spell, Spellbinders Nestabilities, the scallop circles, and I use the smallest one. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. And then I'm just going to stick that over where the magnet is. So I'll let that go off and I'm just going to grab myself something pretty and sparkly just to finish off that bit there. So I've decided to go with my Hunky Dory Diamond Sparkles. Okay, so I've got a nice new pack here. So I'm just going to take one of the large ones. I'm just going to place that into the centre there. Okay, and that just adds a really nice detail. Okay, so you've got a lovely gift box there, or a gift sachet, um, snapshot closure, it's nice and secure, uh, and you could get any number of um, types of gifts and things in there. Okay, so that's my pretty sachet bag with a snap magnetic closure. If you don't like using magnets, there's nothing to stop you using some Velcro, Velcro coins on the back here. 
or maybe you want to do a ribbon um, closure. Entirely up to you, but this I think is really nice. It's lovely and secure. And uh, again, all of this box is made with um, products available from Chloe, Chloe and Dean. Um, I've really enjoyed working with her brand. Uh, she does do some lovely things and she's got such a nice eye, um, eye for detail. These um, designs on her foil, particularly her foil pads, I just really love them. Okay, so anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you for joining me. I do hope you like my sachet box um, and I do hope that you'll join me for my next video tutorial. So thanks and bye for now.